back to the strange rock island treasure. Hopefully. That's how a murder happened, and we were all very surprised about that. Murders never happen. Now I'm supposed to search the island, I guess, so we'll see how that happens. Can I get on this computer yet? It's still messy. The computer was probably used by Miata. This fragment fell in this other window. What does it mean? Mm, we already read all the books in here. Yeah. It's an exciting new day. It's very cold for uh, Florida today. Say, what's going on? Brother, suddenly appearing. I was only told about him recently, and then he is a murderer. He was so kind. Why did my brother do something so terrible? Uh, ask about Seiji. I only remember the time when I was a child. My brother was so kind, but I saw a statue. I know much about this, but according to a story I heard, it seems the golden statue has been passed down within the Shimomuras. Uh huh. Okay. Well, information I already knew. Thanks for nothing. <clears throat> Since Mr. Miata has died, the Shimomura family is asking to manage the mansion. If they'd ask, please feel free to do so. How about the island? Even though it's a small island, there are many things here. What do you want to know about? Um, oh, okay. Opposition. That'll just call Strange Rock Island. Its diameter is 2.3 kilometers. To make the case, one can easily move around by feet. There are five capes, and each one of them has a rock with a strange shape on it. That's the origin of the island's name. It went from the island with the strange rocks to Strange Rock Island. <laughs> Again, not really much of an improvement. The Shimura Mansion is on the high ground at the center. Other people live in the small town on the south side. The east and west sides are the houses of Isamu, Kunio, and Siichi. And then to the north, there's only the Cape. It's more or less that kind of place. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Sure. And a mansion. The mansion was built by Rokubi Shimomura, head of the family, during the Meiji period. He ordered the mansion to be built with the an architecture similar to the one used in Europe. Nowadays, it's just an old building where it's hard to look. It's hard to live in, so each one of the young members has built their own house. Nevertheless, it's customary for the one who becomes the head to come live here. In the period from the day that the previous head died half a year ago until Mr. Sama would become head officially, the family wouldn't have had any leader. Uh huh. This is a really terrible case. <laughs> okay. About Seiji. Seiji was second in line for secession, but since Mr. Samu died, he's now the first. But if he's the real cover, he won't be able to succeed him. Seiji came from a daughter of the head house who had left the island. She was also the mother of Satomi and Miki. Mr. Seiji is the eldest son of hers. When he was still a child, he was called back to the island, since he was a candidate for secession of the head. It seems he found it hard to be an outsider on this island. I didn't think he was a bad person at all. A lot to tell me, Butler man. Mr. Miata was a very educated person. He thought that the cultural heritage of the mansion should be preserved. He said it was wonderful to see surviving Western style architecture from the Meiji period. Because of that, he was given the role of supervisor of this mansion until Mr. Isamu would eventually assume his head head. But it was a very close friend of Mr. Seiji, so I can't understand this. Alright. My pleasure. Uh huh. In here. All right, this is the dining room. Oh, ooh, the Tekka boys are in here. When the detective boys finally happen to be the same place of a crime, we can't do anything about it. Coden, I hope you're not secretly working by yourself without waiting for us. Yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Coden, we want to help with the investigation. Thanks, thanks for your help, Detective Boys. All 
I'm so bored. Something happened and I'm still locked up in the mansion. Hey, since this is pure tedium, I want to go out. Oh. The spot where Miata fell on. Okay. Hey, Kogoro. This isn't just an accident. It has the clear mark of a crime. Leave it to me. I don't need to be you. Is this Kunio's house? I mean, probably. Footprints, okay. It's a crime scene beyond this point, so please let's leave it once. Okay. The game loves this music. Is it on the stereo system? Just turn it off. Oh, okay. What? You want to ask something about Seiichi? Kind of man. Seiichi's mother was the daughter of a head of the Shimomuras. She disappeared from here, went to the mainland, and then married. This is also why Satomi and Niki are part of the Shimomura lineage. Since their mother was disinherited when she left, they had led a life mostly connected to the Shimomuras. Seiichi was the only male of them, and in fear of an eventual death in our head house, and then not having a successor, he alone was called back home to the island when he was just a kid. Due to being made to live apart from his family, he used to maintain a certain distance towards the Shimomuras. The session of the house was the reason why he was raised separately from his family. Or if he also had some resentment towards the Shimomura members. Uh-huh. Uh, he and Asamu? Asamu was the eldest son in the head house, so he was the first in line of succession. He was raised to be very pampered, so he was somewhat selfish. It seemed like he had some classes with Seiichi. Seiichi's point of view it was due to him. He was just the second in line, so he probably wasn't very happy about him. Okay. Keep giving me more, uh... Reasons that people who weren't you killed them, I guess. Uh, he and Miata? Miata is from the island, but he went to college in the mainland. He seemed to get along well with Seiichi, so I don't understand how this could have happened. Perhaps Miata threatened Seiichi with some evidence against him, and then Seiichi had to kill him to seal his lips. Uh-huh. <clears throat> ah, that way is the bathroom. You can't enter. What? I need to pee! Come on! Only a forest can be seen as a window. Why won't you let me pee? What are you hiding in there? What are you hiding in there? Huh? Okay, and the cop won't let me go that way. Birdhouse. It's a nest box for birds. There's a little egg inside. Aww. The Seiji's house? I mean, I get I would assume so. It's locked with a key. You need to find that key somewhere. Uh-huh. Sure. Here's a strange rock. Sign of the snake. Some letters carved in the stone. Zuramite. Seems like some kind of old code. I just realized, did that not add snake to my keyboards? Might be have to look at them before it'll add it. Just to see all of them. Thought for sure what I was supposed to be doing today is going around and seeing all the rocks. And here we back are here. Is this the guest house? Are there any people who come to stay at a place like this? I don't know. Okay, guys, blathering on about random stuff inside the guest house? That must be Kitagawa. They said he tr left to try his luck on the mainland. He started a business, but it failed and ended up broke. And he came back, and now he just wastes his days drinking. I wonder if he has any hope of making money someday. 
Alright. Tiger. Miyauchi. Let's go talk to the drunk man. Money, I'll drink as much as I like. God sakes, every last one of you. Eh, who the hell are you? I am small child. Nice to meet you. Ashtray. No. If this rock exists in the cape, then I'll, I'll check every rock on the west side of the island. A rock concealed secret. If I don't have the golden statues, this door won't open. Ha! Ah, how long have you been there? Eh, well, it's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay? Uh-huh. Shape of a donut. No, it's more of an arch. It's a rock like this on Mount Miyogi, too. Okay. Sure. Um, I mean, that's probably where the statues go. They, like, make them kiss. Make them smooch in there. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, here's another strange rock. Rock with the shape of a mushroom. Shape has to be made by the hand of a man. Okay. It's a cow. To find something to magnify them. Okay. Now, good luck to me finding something to magnify them. Oh, you are one of the guests of Lord Shimura. Situation then is a big hectic. Please don't walk around pretending that you're a detective. Okay. I won't pretend. I'll just be a detective. Small shop for the people of the island. They sell food and other daily necessities. And the dog. Stone. I think I could read them. I need to find something to magnify them. Or I could go get, like, Ron or somebody, I guess, but... Rock with the shape of a Y. By the way, there are many rocks with strange shapes in the sun. That's why they call it Strange Rock Island. Yeah, I know. We've been going around looking at it all. Almost seen the whole map. Papa has gone to the sea to catch some fish. During that time, we help with the plantations on the village. It's the life of the villagers to this island. Okay. Eh? Seiji's house is locked? The keys to the houses of the Shimura members are managed by the head house. Maybe Mr. Takawara could lend you a key. Sure. In other people's houses, it's bad. Uh huh. Farm family. People in this village are not fishing, they do agriculture. I swear, you're the worst detective ever, not just barging into random people's houses. Get out without being noticed. Detective boys, just killing time in a place like this without being able to do anything will never allow such a thing. It'd be great if we could solve this case. 
Right, okay, let's go. Hey! Where are you guys going? Eh, hey, nowhere, we just thought about going for a little walk around here. That's right! Besides, we weren't thinking of investigating for this case or anything like that. Oh, you idiot. I see, so you were trying to sneak away. You kids will stay away from something so dangerous as this case. But, just waiting in a place like that is so boring! That's right, we didn't come all this way to the island just to be shut away in that room. I wanna help out with the investigation. No, you can't. Murder has occurred. The kids be obedient went in that room. No! <laughs> Let us go out! Out! Seems they're getting very frustrated. You got a cool key for me? Let's get to Ichi's house? In that case, please taste this key. Thank you. you. Keep the key in the dining room? Hey, Wayne, this key will open Mr. Seiichi's house. Okay. Got the key now. I'll use this key that Takumura gave us. It opened. Sage's cabinet, the interior is in order. She seems to be very methodical. Oh, he also has a cool computer. Sage's desk, the computer is on it. Eh, the light is blinking. New mail has arrived. Some emails. Yeah, read the emails. It's a bad thing to do, but I'll take a look. <laughs> it's from Miata. It seems that he was always in touch with Sage. The newest mail is this one. Sage, an urgent problem has appeared. Can you come to the study in the mansion this Saturday at 4 p.m.? Yesterday was Saturday. 4 p.m. is just when we arrived at the mansion. So that's why Sage was at the study at that time. But wait, Sage has been on the run all this time. How did he manage to read this email? See the cliff outside, so I can't go out. Alright, fine. Alright, well, let's think about the mail, I guess. Email that Miata sent to Seiichi. Judging by its content, the two were very close. Seiichi was on the run. How did he read it? His mobile phone was inside one of the victim's coat pockets. See back the fall broke it beyond repair. Okay. So we don't know how you read it yet. I think I should check his computer. The music in this mansion is just a lot. Just the theme of the Shimamuras. Only oh, technical looks, okay.
Mm, this is Tony's brother's a murderer. Hey, I want to investigate the case too. Too bad. Um, okay, well, where haven't I looked? Yeah, I feel like I've gone everywhere. For except for the murder scene. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Try a couple more things. And maybe we'll grab uh, someone to go read the the things, even if it ruins my detective score. I might be a bad detective. Actually, the detective boys are in here. Let's see what they have to say now that we they're angry. Oh, the detective boys finally have to be super- okay, it's the same thing. Maybe you have some binoculars or anything? Matsuchi. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, huh. Gee, can I sneak up this way? So, no, that's not a path. Okay. something to magnify them, uh-huh. Rock the shape of a cup of sake? I, okay. I guess uh, that's a cup of sake. I was thinking like a brazier, but... Sure. Shape of a candle. Is that okay? Candle, not butt plug. Candle. Okay. Definitely have seen everything on the map, right? Oh, it says that that trail goes to the back of that house. Okay. Um, let me see if that's true. 
like, how is he checking his email? And there's a secret path. And then he'll go, aha! He used the secret path. Yeah, secret path. Okay, well. Sucks to be this cup of sake. Check his house one more time. Look at this, right? Yeah, snake. Zeramite. People in detective things are always like, man, they're so methodical. They don't have a messy drawer, you know? I guess we'll just be someone tall and read those things. Don't know what else to do. There we go. Look at me. Sunoko. Look at my hair wave. Let's sign the horse on it. Let's see what it says. Some letters card on top of it. It's a combo. The other ones that Conan can get to. I don't remember. Hey, what's up? Oh, are you one of the guests? Yeah. Well, I am pretending, but you can't stop me. I'm a hot girl. Okay. The hog.
If and why? By the way, they're making our stream sweet sound. Yeah. Thanks. What do you think, dog? How do we solve the case? Oh, come on. Is it just locked? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, we did that already. Don't worry about it. Thank you, though. Talking on a cell phone to someone. Yes, everyone is suspicious. Their hands are already full with this case, so the golden statue, huh? Or, oh, what's up? Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Well, then, see ya. Okay. What was that? Why did it seem like she was in a hurry? It seems like cell phones work on this island. I thought it was a very isolated island, but it actually is proper in town. Is that important? I didn't make the little tinkly, so... And the cow... <coughs> Nitosiga. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've seen all of them now. Let's see this drunk guy. What are you doing, drunk man? Very suspicious chair. Right. Can't believe great detective Sonogo can't solve this crime. Their powers of tall. Check this one, right? I think I did. Yeah, one more time, just to make sure I've seen them all. The Amo. Some run, yeah. That's right, a cell phone. I don't think of you in silence. It's possible to use a cell phone. There was a woman talking about a cell phone somewhere. On new phones, it's possible to check emails. Ooh, fancy. It's a phone he can still continue to communicate while he's on the run. In that last email, see, she was called by me out of the study about the time that he fell. In the study, they had a dispute. So then pulled Seiji pushed him off. No, I can't affirm such things yet. If Seiji and Miata exchange emails, then there must be something left in the Miata's computer, too. The Shimura Mansion, which reminds me, there was a community in the study. If I inspect it, I might find something. <laughs> yeah, wow, the thing I've been trying to do the whole time. Alright. Any place to see on this island? I'm tired of all these hills. I can check his computer, I guess. Finally.
Next to each email is to see if this computer is used to send them, it has to be some kind of record left. Alright, let's investigate. Got it. Same email to see this computer. Eh? Last message, strange message, not here. That means that email calling Siege to the studio is missing. Was it deleted? Could have done that. And for what purpose? Something fishy about this case and about the case of Salvo's murder, too. Siege, you the real culprit? I don't know, let's investigate more. Okay. Oh, the cop. Ah, Takamura. The truth is that they've come to our island to seek information. Also, that suspicious guy called himself Detective. Actually, it seems he really is a great detective, but he disguised it with that stupid face to catch the criminals unprepared. Uh huh. Well, I catch them unprepared too. Ah. Uh. Oh, just in time. It seems the officer has something to say. Can you call your group and gather here? Uh-huh. Ah, it's a good morning. I'm sorry for doing such an inexcusable thing. Eh? Well, I asked the central office and they told me about your activities. It seems that Sleeping Kokoro is a very famous detective. It's true. No, I didn't know about it. I apologize. No, such a famous detective. I accept it, but... <laughs> oh boy, he's buying the sweet talk again. Okay, for my part, everything's fine. Let's solve this case as soon as possible. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Looking forward to seeing the skills of a great detective. I was thinking if you would want to cooperate with the investigation. I am interested in participating in the investigation. Oh... I'll also give you more details about the case of Asamu, since the first person to discover it, Kyoko, has come here now, too. So will you lend me your skills? Okay, I'll give it a look. Alright, I'll explain it to you then. It's been four days since the incident occurred at the house of Mr. Asamu. Kyoko arrived in the morning that day. Yes, Kunio and I had an appointment with the Asamu on that day. We were all meet at Kunio's house. We waited for a while, but Asamu didn't come. Because of that, I went to Osama's house to see what was going on. I called from outside, but he didn't answer. The door wasn't locked with a key either. I started to get nervous, so I went to take a look inside, and then... Osama was dead. He was beaten to death. It seems he was hit on the back of his head with a flower vase that was near his dead body. I got scared and rushed back to Kunio's house. After that, I immediately got in touch with the officer. I ran to the crime scene right away. Inside, I found Seiichi's... Staying there, very relaxed. After that, he came volunteered to the police box for questioning. However, the fact that Seishi was staying at the crime scene is no more than a simple fact. That isn't proof that he killed the Samu. However, he's the only one who could have killed the Samu. Let me explain it to you. Even before the incident, it was raining until midnight. In the zone surrounding the Samu's house, there isn't any kind of road service. No footprints that lead to the crime scene, but those are from the victim. In other words, there were only footprints of Asamu. Oh. The previous evening, Asamu got to visit Kunio, who lives nearby. The next day, it started to rain since around 8 p.m. Someone went to Kunio's house around 9 p.m. Middle of the rain. After that, at around the zero hour, the rain had stopped and he returned. Footprints went from Kunio's house to Asamu's house. They undeniably looked like the footprints of Asamu for the time when he came back from Kunio's house. So he arrived at his house, so someone went outside one more time and surrounded it in a circular pattern. The footprints came back in, and these ones also seemed to be undeniably from the same shoes. So beside these two, we didn't find any more footprints. Ooh. The surroundings for someone's house were all mud. It said rain, and no one could leave the house without leaving some footprints. I see. According to the forensic results, the time of death was between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Also, until the time of discovery of the body, the mud still hadn't dried in the zone around this crime scene. The slight footprints of the first discoverer, Kyoko, were left there. If the criminal would have escaped from the crime scene after killing Asamu, he would have left footprints invariably. To put it simply, we are certain that the only person who entered or left the house after the rain had stopped was its owner, Asamu. 
In other words, from the time that Asamu came back to his house until the discovery of his body on the next morning, no one entered or left his house. That sounds correct. <clears throat> oh, come on, just someone wore your shoes. How hard is this? The only person inside the house was Seiichi. Seems like he'd been in Asamu's house since the previous night, before it started to rain. There's no one else there at the time of Asamu's death, so that's the only reason why Seiichi could, only way Seiichi could have killed him. So why did Kyoko go alone to Asamu's house when she first discovered the body? Ah, Kyoko told me that I should go by myself. He said that Asamu overslept very often. Seeing that Asamu wasn't a very punctual person and that he woke up in a bad mood most of the time, but if a girl would call him, he would get up in an instant. Uh huh. I understand. Yeah, I'm sure you do. By the way, officer, you don't mind if I go to investigate the crime scene where Asamu was murdered, right? Of course I don't. I've already told you about you to all the policemen. Okay, just leave it in the hands of an expert. Kindly beg of you. And with this, I will. All right, now I can exhibit my real skills. Dad, don't get too carried away. Ha <laughs> yeah. With this, I can now investigate the crime scene in Samu's house. All right, let's go do that. Yeah, you're with Detective Pogoro Mori? Haha, <laughs> I like playing to Dave too, but now a real murder has occurred here, so please go back to the mansion and behave, okay? Damn, as I feared, you won't let a kid pass. Footprints from Kunio's to Asamu's house. We're sure these were made by Asamu's shoes. When these footprints were found at the crime scene, no other person entered or left Asamu's house on that night. For that reason, they decided that Siichi, who was inside the house the next morning, was the culprit. Okay. Kunio to Asamu's house rained on the previous night. The ground became muddy. It seemed to be footprints that Asamu left when he went back home. There's so much strange. Okay. <laughs> Looks like he's not at home. That means I can examine the bathroom! It's not in the bathroom either. Let me in. Let me in. Oh. I'm for sure you'd be in here. No. Oh, well. It's probably at the crime scene for some made up reason. Since he's obviously the murderer. Circumstances? Between such big incidents occurred, people have been asking all sorts of strange rumors. Well, the Shimura house has always been the enigmatic place of villagers, so it can't be helped. To take those stories with a grain of salt. Sounds very calm and peaceful. Everyone here is either a fisher or a farmer. There aren't any bad people in Silent, although there are a few pitiful people. Miss Kyoko originally only had her father. Her father suffered a serious illness a long time ago, and because of that, he died. That year, the Shumura family declined a loan request from Kyoko, so she ended up without any penny or any kind of assistance. But the previous head, Inasamu, declined her. Because of that, Kyoko had to request a loan from an Ursurer. To take care of her very young brother, too, she went through some rather tough hardships. Those hardships, no one had even heard of her complain even once. She's just a great person. Okay. So... 
what? Kyoko is working. It's just relative to Shimura's. Okay, okay. I mean, that's a benefit. I got a little ding. Always love me a ding. Hey, what's up? You're a new guy. Come think of it. There are many stone monuments in Salem's carved in the right. I've heard that they hold clues to find the location of Sumimura's treasure. Is that believable to you? Yes. Dog sign. There's some letters at the top. Read me. What is that? Hey, Miss Kyoko, wh where were you on the night of Osama's murder? Conan, you're only a little kid. You shouldn't be interested in a murder case. I wouldn't imagine being a detective. It'd be better if you could play that... Instead of play that kind of in video games. Or read some detective manga. Uh-huh. This incident's Shimmer Head House. Yeah, I know, right? I'd like to be Kogoro now, then, but... I don't have a guest house, too, even though I can't think of any reason for visitors to come here. Kitagawa uses it occasionally, although he's broke and only drinks in there. It'd be better if you would vacate as soon as possible. That's fair. You still drunk, buddy? What the hell? This massage machine doesn't have any strength. Give me my money back, damn it. Okay. Great. Thanks, friend. Tiger. Mika Gucci. How strange this rock island is. Truly a strange rock island. Mm. Some mushroom. Mitosika. Swap to an adult. I don't know what else I can do here. Well, oh, hey. The days left in the next ferry parts from the island. It looks like there will be bad weather during those days. The service could be suspended. Great news! This is the rat one. Okay. I gotta get to the goddamn crime scene, so let's uh, let's go do that. Hey, I've just seen this picture. Doesn't see you look like a good guy. It's possible that person could be a murderer. The great detective Sudoku should set to investigate too. Yes. Police officer. Oh, you're Kane Dictamori? Over here, it's a crime scene. It's always murder. Since the ground was so muddy, the footprints of a summit can be seen very clearly, right? Hey, you want to take a look? Yeah, as expected from being a detective. But regular people are not allowed into the crime scene. I'm regular. I'm cool.
it's very difficult, yes. Okay, um... Can you help me? Can you make a distraction or something? Voice... yeah, uh-huh. I'm not doing it in secret. I'm being very obvious about it. And goodbye, detective boys. Ask me even intrusive questions. Okay. About Shimomura's. Fortunately, the presence of Shimomura's continue. Only young people were left. The next line after someone will see you, but he, if he's a murderer, then there are no males left that can claim the right of succession. Previous head said in his will that until the very end, only a male could be the head of the Shimomura family. On the session, we have to move to a branch family. If it's done that way, then Kunio will be the heir of the Shimomura heritage. Yeah, it's shocking. Suspicious, this is quite a small island. Now that you mentioned a man called Kitagawa is staying in the guest house. He's unemployed and just spends his whole day drinking. Uh huh. Kitagawa left the island and started business in the mainland. Said they came back after business failed. He was troubled by mommy grumbles every day of a couple wine at the guest house. He has eyes on the golden statue with hopes of making some money. Possible he might have intruded into Osama's house. We should try to verify Kitagawa's alibi. Sure. Kitagawa sits for a branch family Shimura as he's a third person line succession. The death of Osamu doesn't necessarily mean they will become the next head of the family, but if the second line Seishi is arrested as a murderer, he will have the right. Soon they has enough motive to kill Osamu. I'll try to verify his alibi. <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, I'll save it. I found a photo album at this mansion, so I'm a picture of my brother. I wonder if he really is the culprit. Okay, sure. Why is in the library? Of course not. Only nerds would be in here. Kogoro. Great. I didn't think he was still in the building. Now show me. I'm waiting for you, Conan. I need to ask Dad something. Yeah, not gonna... Not gonna happen. Hey, Kogoro. I think I'll go investigate the crime scene of Sam's murder. Sure. was in this room, right? The Miyato was pushed off from this window. Yesterday, my brother was certainly on the spot this time. More than ten years already since I last met him. Alright, well. Let's see what we can do with the crime scene with Kogoro here. Everything's normal here. Thanks. I'll just go to the crime scene and be a detective. Is this where the first murder occurred? Yeah, probably. This is right. They said there's no set of footprints when he exited the house. He went around the house once and then he returned to the entrance. Why would he do such a thing? Footprint two. 
detective who came from the mainland that the officer told us about, we're in charge of ensuring the crime scene custody and the evidence and integrity of this case. Should I explain the progress of the case so far? Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Footprints, uh-huh. See something in his backyard, okay. It's very messy. It seems there's someone still head from the back. But maybe this was a murder by an acquaintance. Uh huh. The face was a murder weapon. The victim was hit in the back of the head with it. it. Looks very heavy, so it probably caused an instant death after only one hit. Sure. Well, the statue was here as a decoration. The statue is of pure gold and definitely worth a lot more money. It's also keyed the treasure. Is this a murder for money? What what is this? Um apparently nothing. It's just a weird block. Okay. Okay, well, let's think about footprint two. Footprints coming out of someone's house and going in circular motion around it. Oh? After comparing these footprints to the other ones, these ones don't feel strange. What's the difference between the two? Uh huh. somewhat strange, but the other ones are not strange. Okay. Sorry, this case no longer on the whole island. Uh huh. Okay, you can ask Dad something. My poor detective rating. What's up? Search everywhere inside the mansion. I haven't found a single clue. Only the iron bar up there has me intrigued. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I... And Shinichi can enjoy doing something like this. <laughs> okay. Um... I need to figure out his alibi. I, you know, I don't necessarily know why, but I'll go talk to him again, I guess.
Hey, drunk man, what's your alibi? Mister, did you come back from the mainland? What? What the? How did you know about that? You just know it. Those detective people came from the mainland. Everyone in the village is talking about you. Right, so you're suspicious of me now? Burp. Maybe I'm trying to get the treasure of the Shimura since I'm broke, and for that reason I sold the golden statue. That's what you're thinking, right? That was very sad. But I have an alibi myself. That day, I was here drinking the entire time until dawn. Maybe this is just from my point of view, but it's useless to be suspicious if a man has no relation to the Shimura family. I'm sure that Kunio is involved in this case. He hated his son all along. Someone from the head family, so he looked down on Kunio. That's why that guy killed him. Okay. Thomas murder. Oh, right, I forgot. Shit. He, she was one of the reasons I needed Kogoro. I forgot. Ah! Go get him, go get him. I gotta go all the way back upstairs. Oh, Game Boy. Ain't gonna get enough speedrun records this way. Although I did check the speedrun boards for this. Um, there's only two times. <laughs> so, if I did a speedrun, I would get third. have to do. Try to know all the ins and outs of the case. Just play through it again. Do a speed run. Give me info. I want to ask you a little question. Where were you in the night of the summer square? I'm not asking with any bad intent. So I've become a suspect too. On the night of the summer square, I was at home. My younger brother was my witness, although he's not. Maybe he's not allowed to be a witness for my alibi since part of my family. The next morning, I was at Kunio's house. Hmm. I got these sneakers from Isamu. They're rare to see, even in Tokyo. That's right. Why did he give them to me? Because he really loves sneakers. Recently, he had bought some Mikey sneakers that had just been launched, but shortly after that, he was really sad because he had scratched them accidentally. Is that so? The sneakers look like they might be an important clue for this case investigation. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Okay. So what, now I have Kogoro look at the footprints again? Now that he knows that there's, like, weird shoes involved, I guess? You know, that feels strange. Okay. So footprints. Okay. Yeah, he walked in a circle. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's 
Somewhat strange. Okay. about the shoes, I guess, but it doesn't seem to have affected any of my options. Maybe now I can go into the bathroom and find the shoes? Is that what's going on? No. Oh, adventure games. So, you know about the shoes. Is it the shoes? The problem is I haven't found Cunio. Uh, check a little more and then we'll have to finish this mystery up tomorrow. Can I go back into this house? It seems like maybe this is where Cunio's hiding. like 14 capes I haven't gone to, I guess. There he is. Kawa said that you hated Osamu, is that true? He also said that maybe you're the real culprit. That guy's such a loser. Just thinking of the kids. I get it. I'll have to show proof of my innocence to you too. Listen well, I have a legitimate alibi. I was at home on the night of Osamu's murder. They started to rain by 8 p.m. Someone came to ask me somewhere around 9 p.m., and then he stayed to talk. He went back home after the rain stopped around midnight. This is why there are footprints from my house to his house. After someone left, I remained alone at home. Don't have an alibi witness, but since there are no footprints of me on the ground, it's clear that I never went out. Also, at the time of Miata's murder, there's no need to say that I was together with you. In the first place, I wouldn't inherit anything with the death of Osama, so I never had a motive to murder him. Wouldn't it be better if you were searching for people with motives? For example, I'm hesitant to say it, but Kyoko has been troubled about money before. She's probably resentful of the Shinomura family because of that, so she has plenty of motives! Uh-huh. Hey, miss, I heard you had plenty of motives. Are you working on the investigation? We can catch the culprit soon. Okay. Well.
Hey, I'm looking for the photographer? I haven't talked to her. There she is. Oh, so we meet again. I heard that there's a treasure on this island. Something on treasure hunt. The stone monument show the way of the treasure. Hehe, <laughs> you think I'm a suspicious person, eh? Don't worry. If I find the treasure before you do, I'm not thinking about keeping it all to myself. Really? I'm trying to find the treasure to help a certain person who's being persecuted for a crime that he did not commit. You end up getting involved in the ugly strife for the treasure of the Shimuras. Sick of helping that person, I came here to find out exactly what kind of hidden treasure this is. Certainly that these stone monuments are related to the location of the treasure, but I haven't been able to find them all yet. That's why I wanted to ask you a favor. You've been already been searching for all the stone monuments on your own, right? Do take me along to all the ones that you found. I'll help you in exchange. What do you think? It'll definitely be faster than searching them all by yourself. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay, well, um, we're collaborating. So this hasn't she seen, though? Well, whatever. We'll just go to a mall. Maybe this is how I could have read everything without having to, um, swap with somebody. She would have read them all for me. Operating, but what does that even mean? Okay. <clears throat> Am I helping? I, I don't even know. Yeah, I already saw you over here.
Yeah, that's all of them, right? I've seen all of them, right? We saw that guy, the mushroom guy, we saw the Y, we saw that guy, we saw that guy, we saw that guy. Detective boys. Well, well, um, I'm stumped as to what to do next. Games, am I right? So we'll come back tomorrow after some research and finish solving this mystery. Seems pretty clear who murdered the murders. It's Kunio Kun. He um, decided to stop beating up people in River City and go murder people on this island. That's my perfect description. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye.